Hey guys, GC here, playing 7 Days to Die, Alpha 16.4. It is now day 131, and... What? Are you, you hot? It's just whiny jackass. We have a lot of work to do, uh, you know, in order to finish Cthulhu's mighty temple of doom. So, I've been uh, preparing over here, so you see we got a lot of paint, because we got to paint the whole thing. Uh, I have a lot of concrete back at my original base, so there's no need to bring, you know, actually there's really no need to bring any of this concrete. We have more than enough over there, so I'm just going to just save it here for, you know, other work. And, okay, yeah, I brought back the business glass blocks. Okay, we're just going to take those, and we're going to take for just those just in case. And, oh, and the other thing is we are going to take like rebar frames. Okay, 500, 500, 500. That is good. Um, we'll just go over here and we're gonna store this here because there's no need to have the end anywhere. And uh, the paint is good. Um, okay, I guess we're, oh, I was making some ammo. Yeah, we got enough ammo. Uh, how are we? The shotgun is looking good. Where's my sniper? Uh, oh, it's over here. And we're going to repair that. Uh, there we go. Let's repair this thing. Good. That is good. And my steel pickaxe. You know, uh, since in the last episode I, I scrapped my my steel pickaxe, I made a couple, then combined them, and now I have it's a 587. Used to be higher, but well, degradation, you know, of quality. Uh, what else we have? The leather poncho, the wrench. I think we're good. I made a lot of splints. I took some first aid kits, and we have enough water. Yes. Oh, and l look at this. You know, I wanted to show you that we are here in the holiday spirits. So, uh, an early Christmas and a Happy New Year, you know, greetings from everyone here uh, at the Zombie Research Initiative to all of you. Greetings, Star Star, see you up. Exactly, Mike. Uh, GLaDOS, say something nice uh, uh, to our viewers. If you are watching this, you are probably all... Monsters. Uh, Gladys. Okay, well, whatever. So, uh, I just wanted to show you that I've been working like crazy on the underground network of uh, tunnels. Uh, let me show you. If you remember, if we turn right here, we go to the city outpost. So, let me just show you this. And uh, because everything is now interconnected. Um, just quickly stop here so I can show you. Now we have what? What is this? No oh, weird. We have like here's what we have the underground operation. There's a tunnel that goes here to the city outpost, and here there's a tunnel that goes straight north here to Cthulhu's temple. So everything is now connected. It took me a long time, you know. And there are some sections that are only one block wide. But all in all, we have interconnectivity. Like, for instance, here. You see, one block wide, but it's not a big problem. And here, let me just show you. We are in this mo at this moment, uh, the, the cement is still not dry. You see, in some parts. We are under the destroyed city outpost, which is going to be rebuilt. So. I built this entire area, and the weird thing is that, the, well, uh, since I left the area, the concrete is not drying anymore, so if we stay here, maybe some of it will dry. I don't know. Okay, so this this is one of the staging areas, and um, oh, I want to show you something real cool. Let's just go north. So this long stretch here that's just one block wide because, you know, this is by far the uh, longest tunnel network I have ever attempted in any version. I I've never dug this much. Let's just go over here. 
Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Daytime. Let me just park here and explain why this is important. And I will, I will, I was building this and it's still not drivable. We are right now under the trader, you see? So we are sneaking, we are 57 meters down and we are sneakily investigating this effect. You see? The force field they use to protect their facilities. Because this is pretty impressive technology, you see? I can't even make anything with this, and this is sand. Can't do anything. So, uh, my, my tunneling system, you know, I, I, I was tunneling from here in the tunnel network. You, you can't do anything here because this is protected by the traders for field. So I started working on a on a small you know research base here. This is this is the start. Where I'm gonna dig over there, set up some equipment to see if we can you know crack the mystery of this this force field that goes apparently all the way to the base material of the world. And from here on north is just a straight shot and we're going to get to my original base, you know, the first underground base I made in Alpha 16. That's a uh, that's right under the mighty temple of Doom of Lord Cthulhu. And uh, well, if you remember, if you're wondering why are we working in the, again in the temple, it's uh, because uh, Cthulhu was uh, apparently displeased with the state of of the temple. And he asked us to, to build a long bridge and also to paint it black and he wanted spires, which is the main objective of this episode. Here we are under the river, let me just show you. You see, we're right under the river. So we had to build this concrete corridor because in the other side of this, there's water. And well, now we are closer. As you can see, torches at regular intervals in the tunnel, and uh, I've uh, passed several uh, ore deposits. Uh, sometimes I, I started small mining operations like that one, and others that are larger like that one, and this one. And now we go up. So we're going to park the mini bike. Come on, come on, come on. We're going to port the mini bike over here. Easy, easy. There we go. Okay. Oh, I think I turned the generator off the last time I was here. There we go. And as you can see, always have your forges running. We got some cement. 83 minutes on this one and probably it would be a good idea to put some more rocks so let me just take this and let's take the cement fill that good and process everything and this one process everything and also we're going to refill this good Maybe that. and since we are here always be you know making cement we can make like 2000 now we're gonna take this and that and a little bit of this in order to make some sand so concrete mix and also in this one Oh, we got a lot of concrete mix of this, you see? That's why I, why I said there was no need to, to bring any. We're gonna make some sand, which in previous versions would have been a horrible waste of materials. But in this one, since we've been, you know, digging so much, it's what we've been doing. Uh, nitrate powder, I have a huge deposit of nitrate powder right on top of my main base, my main underground base. We got a lot of iron and clay over here. Uh, let me see the construction stuff. We got a forged steel, that's good, we're going to need. And you know, we're going to make... Oh, we got a lot of rebar frames. Let's just, just in case, 
make some rebar frames you always need some of this so let's just craft that and we're gonna make like 300 of this and we're gonna make like 300 of those and the rest steel nice you see this is good and let me see if we get some resources here we got some lumps of clay and we got some raw iron that is good what you're hot okay where the punch stop whining like jackass okay, put that over there put that over there good that should be enough okay so um and over here okay we're good so let's just go up i had to do some modifications oh no 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 before going up because the first part of this video is going to be painting so we're gonna take a few buckets of paint we're gonna take this paintbrush and i think that's good um just in case how much fuel do we have here uh, not a lot, so we're going to turn this thing off to conserve fuel. Because otherwise I'm gonna have to go, you know, scavenging. Or maybe I could make some, you know, fuel. I, th I, th I think we can make now fuel, but I, I need corn or something like that. I don't know. So, I did some modifications. If you remember, this thing went straight up into, you know, the floor of the temple. But since I rearranged it a little, I had to do this. We we did a little a little dig it on this side, and now we go up, and I have repositioned the hatch. You know? So it's over here. Cool. There you go. And I've added I've added this pews, you see, and the, this pulpit. So any any strange entity that gives the sermon, you know, of mighty Cthulhu. Uh, can stand here and 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 you have the worshippers like like sitting over here and watching you see this is where we make our prayers for the damned and it's still really dark even though the sun is I don't know that's not the sun that's a reflection of my my helmet light okay so um Cthulhu said uh, he wanted this to be obsidian black, so we're going to sample that and just do this. And now we need to. Oh, yeah, I, 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 I did this, you see. I removed this, this block that were here because originally I wanted to make this pool, but water filters through this, so it's a no go. And I added this because there's no reason to have everything just, you know, when it rains, everybody gets wet and, and, and angry, and that's that's really no good. And there's the mighty bridge of doom, that, that part is not loading, we need to go over there, so if you, if you want to see it. And oh, I worked a little bit on starting on the spires on each side. So this is just basic, uh, the basic basic uh, the base you know of the spire and uh, we applied some levitating technology over here with uh, concrete infused with a uh, mass effects element zero or easel let me just upgrade this a little bit there 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 oh crap when I was building this, I was jumping over there, so we need to retrieve that. But the first first order of business is to paint. So, let's just... What the... Global... No, this, I don't want global chat. I want this thing. Uh, paint roller. Okay, so... Yeah, this is the thing. It looks real nice. You know, basic black. Yeah. I, I can understand the, the design decision, you know. If you're going to be an ominous demigod from outer space, you just go all in. You don't, like, have a pool. You know, none of this jackassery. Just paint this here. Oh, crap. I painted... Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, what the materials? No. 
just sample this and change to this. Yeah, we gotta be careful. What the? <laughs> Sample this. Good. So over here. And here. Okay, so I'm just gonna paint this. There we go, everything seems to be okay. I think I saw one block that was not painted around here. Ah, uh, everything looks good. So you see, every oh, wait, 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 I saw something. I saw it, I saw it, and I saw something over here. Good, there we go. Okay, so you see, this is where we stand, and we, you know, give our prayers for the damned. And um, you know, the, I think the the red pews are, are like a really nice touch. And uh, well, I don't give red says if uh, you know Cthulhu doesn't like this. Warning: Omega class cosmic entity detected. Exercise extreme caution. Oh crap! Um, sorry, 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 sorry. I was being sassy. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Oh damn! I was pretty sure I painted this. Okay, we must not speak ill of Cthulhu in his mighty temple of doom because uh, you know he's he's listening. Okay, so um, let's just go outside. Uh, oh, over here, I'm gonna just sample this thing. There we go. Looks good. And let me just do a quick pass uh, on around here because ah uh, there we go. For some reason I upgraded that block and it was still you know in the original color. And over here everything looks nice. I made a lot of uh, you know steel and upgraded all of these spikes, so the temple is pretty well protected against any zombie incursion. Uh, okay, now we're just gonna take all of this. Let me just go over here and take all of this. Good. And now we need to work on the spires, which I assume I'm going to have to, you know, paint later. So, um, you know, the thing is that. I would really like to be able to like jump over here on one of the spires. So maybe if we build something here, 
Uh, it's gonna mess with the aesthetic. Yeah, plants. And let's just do this. It is a hard road, a difficult road that leads to salvation in the Temple of Mighty Cthulhu. So, you know, people trying to get here should, you know, make sacrifices. Like, like do the things. Okay, so, here we are. And my plan is we're going to test something. Something really ambitious that I have, you know, I've seen in videos, I have read posts about it, but I have never tried. And it deals, what the, are you hot? Have some water. It deals with structural integrity. As you know, a block, a, you know, a, a pillar block that goes all the way to the base material of the world uh, can go to the maximum ceiling of the height, which uh, of the uh, ma maximum height ceiling of the game, which is I don't remember if 192 or 187, something like that, or 95, 195, something like that. It can, it, if it is un uninterrupted from the bottom material of the world up to the ceiling. It can, you know, support anything. The thing is when there's a gap in the middle. Uh, at that moment, that becomes a, a block that's supported by structural integrity. It's not a pillar block. So, uh, materials have a, a maximum weight that they can, you know, support. For instance, this thing, as you can see, it has a max load of 320 and it has a mass of 20. So in theory, this thing should be able to support uh, 11 blocks, uh, no, uh, 16 blocks, sorry. 16 blocks, uh, you know, horizontally without collapsing. The, there are also some, some limits like uh, eight or nine blocks unsupported, you see, horizontally. So we have to take all of that into consideration because I want to build these things going up and joining in the middle. And you might say that's impossible. Apparently it is not impossible because as my understanding of, you know, structural integrity grows, like for instance, let me, let me just show you this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you see, it collapsed. It collapsed at seven. Uh, yeah, it's kind of weird because it should have collapsed at eight. Well, it collapsed at seven. But look at this. Oh crap! I think I damaged some of this. Well, look at the, this. What happens when I put one block there and one here? So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Didn't collapse, you see? This block here increases structural integrity a little bit. I thought they didn't, but after some read. What? Samara? I don't have time for your shenanigans right now. Die, you stupid zombie girl. Oh, crap. She called on them. Hey, bruh! Bruh! No! You're not supposed to do that. Okay, he died before exploding. He might have some good loot. Oh, crap. Um, I thought I could do that. Couldn't. Okay. Just, just, just hold on, guys. Hold on. Because uh, the cops... We got the, the good loot. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, he disappeared. Okay, who's there? Bro, don't do that. Good. Okay. Bro, I'm, I'm busy. Okay, okay. You want me to do that? Stupid player. I don't give a rat's ass about your thing. 
I heard, I heard someone. A sandwich. It's a glass of paint. Oh, you. Good. Oh, this is delicious. This, not so much. I just threw it in your face, you see? As a sign of disrespect. Okay, let me just clean this. Okay, enough. Okay, so, after that rude interruption, as I said, my understanding, uh, as my understanding of structural integrity in this game, you know, grows, I see now that there sh we should be able to make some structures that go beyond the maximum range that I originally thought was allowed, you know, and not using like developer materials or something like that like those cranes we've seen those construction cranes that are just crazy but this thing supports and for instance if we had one of those and one of those look at this you see so in theory if i made a, a big enough arch over here an arc I should be able to just go up and join in the middle. You see, that's what I'm, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to attempt to do. So let's just take these things. Sorry, that broke. It was my fault. It was nobody else's fault. I, I think I hit one of these things, but I don't see damage. That's good. So what we're going to attempt to do is exactly that. So, in order to do that, we are going to just go up. Let me just upgrade all of this. Good. Now we need to reinforce these easel infuse uh, plates. And now we're using the mass effect. It when you know in, in these floating things so upgrade upgrade okay that's good and over here okay everything is upgraded okay so we're going to attempt this um how are we going to do this we first thing is that we need hay bales I'll take the steel shovel I'll put some hay bales over here so I can jump down after this thing is built there there and there okay so um yeah mm, over here one more Okay, so here, you see, we're going to go up to a sufficient height, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Uh, I think this is high enough. Let me just take a look at how this, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Let me get some perspective. Fortunately, my leg is sprained, not broken. Yeah, I think this, this looks okay because, you know, we're going to join them over there. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I guess we can. So, let's just upgrade this to, to cement real quick. That. Give me that. Okay, so let's just go up and upgrade this. There. So, and also you need to remember that different materials have different maximum loads, 
and wet concrete has a lower max load than dry concrete so we need to be careful but it is my understanding that we should be able to do this thing okay so let's just start with uh, one two three four five six six is it six or is it I can't see anything one two three four five okay we're gonna we're gonna try it with um, I, I should be able to do the math apparently but I don't know exactly how much structural integrity these side blocks add so we're gonna put seven and actually we're going to put seven plus one of these and that actually means eight you know I hear zombies jackasses don't know to quit you know I'm doing I'm doing stuff here huh? structural engineering stuff so you uh, it's a passing horde you see and they're just going like when they you know when they just go in this direction and step on the spikes well monsters are attracted to monsters shut up Gladys Gladys is just she has like you know the big mouth you know, the big mouth okay so I'm not sure if I am no I'm undetected so maybe we wait here for all of these jackasses to go in that direction what is that oh I thought it was a radioactive cop or something like that okay just keep keep heading in that direction there's nothing for you you know we we indeed will be saying some prayers for the damned in the in, in the temple but it is not service time at this moment we are we're building we, we're just building so you just go on your merry way okay zombies yeah go go uh, Mike can you keep an eye on, on on any hordes that are coming around because I don't I don't want to be disturbed is that okay buddy star, star, see you out. thanks bro thanks uh, okay well, there's one jackass over there hey bro he dead okay it looks like I'm gonna have to just go down and do some cleaning up yep this guy over here hey hey shooting you bro Ugh. hello stop crawling where's the other guy pretty sure there was another guy oh this guy over here hey stop destroying my my come on man okay you dead yeah he did okay so you see that's that's the idea this thing should increase structural integrity going in this direction and our goal is to get to this block over here so that's what we're going to attempt now Okay, let's see. Oh, crap. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I just detected something. Boop. There we go. So, let's see. I think we are like two blocks away. Yeah, yeah. This, this is looking nice. This is looking nice. And uh, I'll have to figure out something, you know, like maybe go back over here going up something like that just in order to make it like look real good okay 
That's good. That's good. So, okay, over here. The main, the thing that I'm worried about is like what happens if I make my nerve pole going up here and might cause this to collapse. So that's why I'm being so like careful with this, you know. But let's just try and go up in this way. Yeah. Up, up. So we can add the final touches here. A little bit up. Come on. That's good. Ooh, that was close. That was more close than, than I felt. Com I feel comfortable with. You know. Okay. Yeah. We are in this thing. Okay. Come on. Let me just put the thing here. Easy. There we go. Okay. Good. So we are in this block over here. And you see what I'm thinking is one more. Maybe we should do something. Okay, you know what? We're gonna do something nice. Plate. I have like 500 of these things back in my main base, but it's okay. We always can make and use more. Okay, so give me at least one. Oh! Hey guys! Hello! see into the cargo hold and they drop the air the airdrop is over there it's pretty close actually apparently what is that thing I thought I saw something over here eh, nothing okay yeah, I'm just casually you know, looking around while at surely fatal heights okay this is good this is good. I'm thinking... Good, good, good. Let's see if I can, like, place this thing over here. Hmm, no. I need to do it from the other side. But I think we are okay here. What? That was not very good, you know, a very good calculation on my part. I admit it, it was just a jackassery on my part. And I will have to live with that shame, you know, for the rest of my life. But we are not going to waste all of these river frames. Because I could do it. That would be Jake Essery. So let me just go up here. Good. You see, we can take and we, we break one or two or three or four, but we we get most of them, you know, most. And the other thing that we should do is upgrade this to steel. So I'm gonna build the the other column and um, then go down to the to the underground base and and get some steel because I was making a lot of yeah you see we break one or two it's just, it's just nobody's business okay so now we're going to do the same thing in this area like there 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 okay just just bear with me
there we go this is what I was looking for and I think it's looking pretty nice let's see frame come on frame I don't want to push my luck here so let's just uh, wood frame ramp let's just make four good so now we put this here Good. Over there. Over there. Single upgrade. Good. Good. Yeah, I think I think this is good. And we place like one simple rotation. There. There. This is looking real nice. Okay, so let's just paint this real quick. So, no one knows that this is wood. Oh, come on, paint! Okay, let's just let's try to do this. What the? Why is this thing not painting? Okay, if I have to replace this, I will do it. But I'm going to do it from the other side. Easy. Uh, you see? And we paint this thing. And for some reason, that thing does not want to get painted. Okay, I'm going to have to deal with that. Um, you know, I think it's time for some, um, for some steel. You know? Just to make sure that structural integrity is holding. Oh, God damn it. But it's okay, it's okay. I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad because everything is going according to plan. You see? We got the floating pillars. Yeah, the floating pillars, and then we're gonna go up here. It's just going to. What the hell, man? You got, you got the leather poncho. I think it's supposed to cool you down. Don't go like Ugh! because, as I said, that sounds like you're trying to poop or something. So just shut the hell up. I'm gonna eat this. It's delicious and moist. So let's just grab this. Drink some water. Always good. Okay, let's just quickly go down and get some of that good steel. Try not to break again my leg. I think we are out at um, we're up to one sprain and uh, two fractures in this episode. Okay, we're gonna take this steel, and I know we have some more steel over here. That's good because, as I said, I don't want to take any chances with this. This thing is just going to be like massively brutal. Okay, go up. Let's just go over here. And, um, you know, yesterday, um, like, like at the late night, Madmo put up a, a new video on Alpha 17, and uh, they're adding a lot of detail to the, you know, to the, the POIs, you know, the points of interest. And, um, looking real nice and I, I, I really hope that they make you know available all of the new things that they are making like he showed some pipes you know there was this house that have like like a, a, a mushroom form you know in the basement and they had some pipes for I don't know irrigation or something and it looked like it looked just awesome so I'm really really hoping they they allow us to you know, have those that that kind of thing without it being too too expensive or difficult to to get. Okay, so um, let's see what happens if I try this. Okay, that worked. And over here, now over here it doesn't work. Screw you. Okay. 
Okay, um... You know what? YOLO. Yeah, I hear you, zombie. YOLO. You see? If things don't work the way we intend them, intend them to, we just freaking ch change the way they are made. Because we do not give a rat's ass. Okay, um... Just go... Oh, don't do that. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, we're gonna make everything here steel, steel, steel. That's all steel. And I'm gonna make this as well. So this should be... Yeah, this should be real... Okay, really okay, good. I hear, I hear a zombie. I don't know if they are, you know, like... Over there, where the hell rift was, I hear some. I think they're over there, but I'm not sure. Let me see over here. I just gotta go up and fix the the jackassery that's happening. Are we in a pillar? Yeah, we're in a pillar. go up and fix the float uh oh I think it's a it's a Samara type zombie that is always bad news Yolo it, you know? What the hell? Well, you know what? We're just gonna take care of this later. Because sometimes I find that if you leave the game and you go back, this thing actually works. Shut up. You see, because for some reason this does not, it's not working right now. Okay, let me just put this thing here and put a couple of torches here. And yeah, I know the torches. No, no, that's not a good placement for the torch. Ah, crap. Uh, how do I do this? There we go. And over here. No, I need to go up. Come on, give me the thing. Don't fall down. Ah, oh, crap. Okay. Um, since we're here, we're just gonna paint this. We're gonna paint that. Everything here looking real nice, you see? Except for this freaking thing. Shut up! Okay, you know what? We're just gonna go deal with this immediately. Immediately, I meant. Because. Shut up. <sighs> okay. Um, it's another horde, apparently. Okay, let me just finish with the torch. And then I'm going to go and deal with that Samara. That's somewhere, somewhere over there. Shut the hell up, stupid zombie little girl. This thing and and there. You see? That's real nice. That's real nice. And over here we need to like um, paint there, paint there, and paint there. And uh, I wonder if the, the top portion. No, no, but because we're going to be doing some work on that, so let's just take all of this. We're going down. Don't break your leg. Okay, I'm gonna go deal with Samara. 
because she's been a jackass. Where are you, you stupid zombie? Just go down over here. I might like put like like a uh, uh, some 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 hay bales, you know, somewhere around here. This looks real weird, you know, which is the the, the thing I was going for. Samara. There. Hey, kid. I just want to talk. I don't want to shoot you in the face. That is not my plan. Definitely. I hear you. Ah, crap. Doggies. Doggies. Ah, oh, crap. Football players. Shut up. Hey, follow me over here. Okay. Let's just use one of these. Okay. Everybody's feral right now, you know? It's not really feral. Even you are feral, you jagass. Okay, we got more zombies, more doggies. Okay, you 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 want to dance with me? Come, this is the dance area. Just gonna ah, I upgraded that. Forgot I had the steel on me. Okay, we got that fat guy over there, bruh. You are not welcome. And this dude over here. Not welcome over as well. Hey, hey, look at me. Yeah, that's a good thing. You're dead. Yeah, squish. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Die on the spikes, you jackass. Yeah, yeah, I know it hurts. It is supposed to hurt. You no good brainless corpse. No, don't hit me. Don't hit me. I'm gonna have to take your limbs one by one, aren't but check is. Got anything good? No. Okay. I think there is something down there. Bad doggy. Anyone around? Now I hear someone. And we got a we got a dog. Yeah, squishy. Sit. Don't go tie fighter on me. Okay. Okay, I guess we're done. So, uh, what was? Uh, oh yeah, we're going to. We were going to upgrade this thing, uh, you know, with the steel, and then we're going to go a little bit... <sighs> Shut the hell up and stop doing stupid... Oh, crap. Okay, 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 okay. Is that, is that how you, you want to roll? That's how we'll roll. Come over here. Yeah, roll down the hill, you jackass. I have a broken leg and I don't give a rat's ass. Why are you all zombies here? Okay, okay, okay. We we will oblige, you know? The JC obliges. Huh, mushroom spores. And you know what? For science, we're gonna take the mushroom spores because I want to conduct a little experiment on that. The decayed mother, nothing. Nice. Hey, stop doing, you know, like slapstick comedy. Okay, come here. And you know, since I'm killing these jackass zombies. Um, there was one thing 
in Mad Mole's video that I'm not sure about. Uh, apparently in Alpha 17 we will have like health bars for enemies. And I'm just not feeling that. I'll have to see how it goes. But uh, you know in the video he like looked at a, a zombie and he could see the, the health bar of the zombie. So that was weird. It got like kind of weird. No more zombies. That's good. That's good. Yep. I'm so slow. Okay, so it's getting kind of late, so we need to build the the thing that's missing from the structure. You know, going up, and then I guess we we will be done. We will be done. Like a little painting here. So we're going to do that as soon as I get there. This is this is in no way you know like filler commentary when I just limp my way up. Uh, this is jackass area, you know. Um, okay, let's see over here. Where are the pillars? Where's the pillar here? It's like right next to this. It's over here. Okay, let's just go up and see if we can like, place the torch. I know this is going to attract zombies, but you know that's the idea. This is a place where we say our prayers for the damned. Because Mighty Cthulhu brings salvation. And uh, and uh, cookies as well. You know. Everything is just delicious and moist. Oh, come on. There we go. Over there. Here, good. Now we go down, easy, and we repeat the process. Okay, this is looking real nice. Let me just paint everything here. Oh, come on, give me the thing. You know, the roller. I want to be able to paint. Uh, can't paint from the distance. Okay, we're just painting this. You see, everything has to look real nice. The entire pillar. Good. And over here, come on. Just go back here. Now I have to like clean over there. Yeah, all of this. Come on. And this side. Everything is looking real nice. I don't know why this thing is so hard to paint, you know, like on the edges. It always... You always need to like do weird stuff in order to paint the edges. And sometimes it, no, it doesn't paint like this. Come on, paint the things. Ugh, crap. There. Over here. There. Yep, not painting. Well, as I, as I said, when I restart the game, this thing sometimes, you know, goes away. Sometimes it doesn't. It is, it is a weird thing. You see, it painted that area and not this one. Sometimes you just need to find the right thing. What? Another one? 
Uh, just a jackass zombie going over there. Hey, bro. You are not. Oh, crap. Now you made me shoot, and the zombies are going to come, and we're all going to die, basically. Okay, so. Let's just quickly. Uh, so this was three blocks. That's good. I'm just gonna go up. Now we're just gonna go up, like here. There. Up, up, up. Because we need to do some. There we go. We need to do some things. We need to finish these big spires that go up into the heavens. Come on. Oh, no, I wanted to paint, not to do that. And you. There. Good. And we're going to do a little modification in the design that's going to look real nice, I'm guessing. I'm taking the opportunity to paint everything here as I go. Let's just change into roller. Good. Good. Okay, this looks real nice. Let's just go up. Yeah, I know. Okay, so thing we're going to do is we are going to take this and we're going to take this. So one, two, three. There it is. Now we're going to put some of this stuff there. There. Let me see if I got it right. Yeah. I think we are in the same things. Okay. So now we do this. And we go up. Oh crap. She was waiting for us. Like right there, you see. Okay, we're just applying the finishing touches here. Bro, I don't have time for your zombie shenanigans, you see? I'm busy. Real busy. I need to finish the painting here. Oh, come on, bro. Okay, I'm gonna step on your face. That's what's going to do, you jackass. <sighs> okay, let me just go to this. So we can clean this. Anything on you, you stupid zombie. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Just wiping everything here because otherwise it looks nice. Don't mind the eviscerated zombie remains. Okay. Okay. Come on. Clean this. Okay. And I'm just gonna fix this thing that was so kind of broken. Okay. Let's see if Samara had anything useful. Nothing. It was just jagass. Okay. And over here. Paint this. Oh no, I need. Stupid zombie. And over here. 
There we go. There we go. Everything is looking real nice. Try this in this direction. Nice. Okay, we gotta clean this up. Um, this thing. And I guess we're done. I guess we are done because this thing is looking real nice. So let me just go down here. Careful, careful. And we're just gonna go someplace and you know, get a better view. Like, I hope I can make this jump and not break my leg like a jackass. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we are done. I am officially, you know, declaring the work on this thing complete. Let me just use Nurple strategy. Just come on, go up, go up. so we can you know take a good look at this thing and you know what we're gonna go up so we can see it from the top down just a little bit more yeah this is looking real nice look at this here we have you know the final version of the mighty temple of doom. Okay, so, um, Cthulhu, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, sub creature. Who are you calling sub creature? Never mind. What do you want? I have finished what you commissioned. You know the 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 upgrades to the to the temple. You see, we get we get over here your your big ass uh, you know uh, bridge goes all the way across to the other shore and when um, it's, it's it's very nicely lit and, um, and and over here we get the floating spires that merge uh, you know in violation of every structural integrity law known to man and we get the the, the floating thing that's that's really cool o o over here you see in the center so I, I think I, I have fulfilled my my you, you know the, the duty that you you place upon me Yes, everything looks real nice. I am pleased with you, sub-creature. Again with the sub-creature. I will save him from the fiery death when the time comes. No, please don't do that. Shut up, Gladys. Okay, well, uh, so are, are we okay? Uh, there's nothing else that you you need? Like, you know, you want me to retile the bathrooms or something like that? Shut up, you stupid old one. Uh, oh, what is that? It's bonus for you. Oh, okay. So, well, I'm gonna go and get it. And well, don't don't forget your your promise. You know, when when the fiery death comes for me, you're gonna save me, right? Yes, mortal. always keeps this one. Awesome. That's that's just awesome. So yeah, well, okay, guys. This um, you know this finishes the construction uh, on the mighty temple of Doom, and uh, now we're going to go back to the George A. Romero facility, and um, you know continue with the Hulk Carter project. We also have like uh, uh, the 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 base in the city, the city outpost that we need to rebuild because it was destroyed a few episodes ago. So um, yep. I hope you enjoyed this video. That's it for now. See you next time. The atom bomb is now just blowing at first. With every dawn, I'm feeling stronger still. But despite the slow decay, it 
never goes away The slow hypnotic asymptotic slide Toward letting go